Hi, it's Katrina. The Giant Water Bug The giant water bug is an absolute nightmare that you should never go anywhere near. It's a ridiculous aquatic predator whose nickname is the toe biter. But it will do more than just bite your toes. It will cause all kinds of misery. These giant bugs have been known to hunt turtles, baby ducks, and snakes. Not even spiders hunt down baby ducks, which should give you an idea of just how horrible these things are. The giant water bug gets its fierce strength from being one of the largest insects on the planet at a whopping four inches. It lurks underwater in ponds, just waiting to bite any toes that come near. These things are common across the Americas, living in stagnant water, lakes, and unattended swimming pools. Their bite is excruciatingly painful, but luckily, it's not lethal. The bug comes equipped with mouth parts like metallic pincers known as rostrums. They can easily pierce the soft skin of your baby toe, and it would feel like the whole toe was just snipped off. When the giant water bug snatches a victim in its mouth, it quickly injects the creature with its saliva. Its saliva isn't toxic like snake venom, but it is detrimental. It's kind of like digestive juice made of enzymes and anesthetic chemicals. The bug's saliva works to break down tissue, which is how the bug can eat larger prey. It's an excruciating experience for the victim, who suffers for hours while their tissue decays rapidly. And as the internal tissue breaks down, the water bug is right there, slurping it up like hot soup through a straw. And now for number nine. But first, I wanna give a quick shout out to Jared Quinney and Mr. Say It Now. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. We wouldn't be here without you. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. Rattlesnakes. If you live in Arizona, you have to stomach the fact that a rattlesnake could be near you at any time. It's just one of those things that you have to deal with when living in the desert. In 2023, one local Arizona man found a whole lot more than one rattlesnake hanging around his house. He suspected that there was a snake or two in his garage, so he called snake wrangler Marissa Mackey. And when Marissa showed up, she found 20 rattlesnakes grouped around his hot water heater. Five of the serpents were adult western diamondback rattlesnakes, and the other 15 of them were babies. One of the adults was also pregnant and was about to have babies of her own. Then, after the snakes were cleared out, Marissa found enough shed snake skins to make her think there were likely 40 rattlesnakes in the garage at one point. But exactly how dangerous is a rattlesnake? The answer is they're extremely hazardous. Rattlesnakes are considered to be the most dangerous serpents in North America. They have very potent venom, but they have a weirdly low rate of biting people. You have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than being bitten by a rattlesnake. You would really have to step on one or taunt it mercilessly for it to lash out at you. In the case that you are bitten by a rattlesnake, though, death is a potential consequence. Rattlesnakes have evolved salivary glands underneath their eyes, which feed venom to their fangs. Each fang is curved and hollow, working like hypodermic needles to fill you full of hemotoxin. Out of the 8,000 people that are bitten every year, only around 10 of them lose their lives. False Widow Spider Crystal Rudd had to undergo surgery in 2023 after being bitten by an arachnid known as the False Widow Spider. The incident happened in the spring, and at the time, Crystal was in so much pain that she said she thought her finger would explode. It all started with an unexpected spider bite. In fact, Crystal didn't even know she'd been bitten. There was a small pimple on her finger which ballooned and started to get painful, so she popped it with a sterile pin. The 28-year-old woman then experienced unimaginable pain, which started at her hand and shot up her arm. She went to the doctor, but they only prescribed antibiotics and antihistamines. Crystal realized the drugs weren't working when the pain got worse, to the point where she couldn't even move her finger. Her whole hand got red and puffy, then the pain spread upward, making it feel as if her arm was going to fall off. Finally, doctors took her injury seriously. They figured out that she'd been bitten by a false widow spider and was in desperate need of surgery. Doctors cut open her finger, and that's where they found the infection. Unfortunately, the spider bite had completely infected her knuckle joint. 
This all happened in the United Kingdom, a place you'd never expect someone to need surgery for a spider bite. But Crystal was a rare case. False widows are venomous, but their venom isn't normally potent. Usually, people experience pain for 12 or 24 hours, but it's no worse than a wasp sting. Crystal did make a full recovery, but she was lucky, or unlucky, depending on which way you look at it. She was one of the very few people who reacted poorly to the false widow venom. Instead of just going away, the venom caused her flesh to rot. The Stingray In the summer of 2023, Christy Katafa O'Brien was impaled by an extremely venomous stingray. She was only trying to enjoy a relaxing afternoon at the beach in Florida when the attack happened. Christy and her husband got a bite to eat, then went for a dip at Bahia Beach in Ruskin. They were in the water only up to their knees when suddenly Christy felt a stabbing sensation in her back. She compared the pain to the sting of a jellyfish. Christy tried to stand up, but her husband grabbed her because he noticed that the stingray barb was lodged in her back. It was jammed right between her shoulder blades. Christy's husband had to keep his wife calm while trying to keep the stingray from thrashing around, but it was no use. The stingray refused to stop wriggling, causing the barb to dig even deeper into his wife. They called 911, but it took the ambulance 45 minutes to arrive. While she waited, Christy had an entire stingray attached to her. It wasn't until she got to the hospital that they were able to cut the barb off the animal. Christy nearly died that day. The venomous spike was less than a fingernail length away from piercing her lungs. She did make a full recovery thanks to the medicine that combated the venom, but it was a big ordeal and something that could happen to anyone at the beach. If it had gone into her lungs, the venom may have had disastrous effects. The Murder Hornet In 2020, the Asian giant hornet arrived in North America. Videos and pictures began surfacing of the extremely dangerous and vicious insect. The videos that freaked Americans out the most were the ones showing the giant hornets attacking and murdering honeybees. The Asian giant hornet is notorious for invading beehives and ripping the heads off bees. And that's how it got the nickname Murder Hornet. They were first spotted in Washington state, as well as on Canada's Vancouver Island. Female worker hornets can grow to about an inch and a half. Each insect has mouth parts that are enormous, allowing it to easily decapitate smaller bees and hornets. And although these hornets typically hunt by themselves, in late summer, the whole hive gets together to conduct exterminations on the honeybee beehives. Scientists call it the slaughter and occupation phase. For humans, giant hornets can be deadly. According to the New York Times, 50 people in Japan die from hornet stings every year. People who get stung by them describe the pain as being pierced with a hot metal needle. Beekeepers have a rough time too because their gear isn't thick enough to prevent the hornet stinger from piercing them. Although they aren't native to North America, the first ones appeared in 2019, and by 2020, their numbers were growing rapidly. So, based on this information, there could be a hornet apocalypse right around the corner. Furry Caterpillars In Virginia, residents were recently warned of a terrifying outbreak. People were left vomiting and shaking with fever after coming into contact with a particularly nasty caterpillar. Virginia officials have warned that there is an outbreak of the most poisonous caterpillar in the United States, a furry little critter covered in sharp, venomous spikes. The bug is called a post caterpillar, and it kind of resembles a ball of hair. But if you accidentally touch it, the critter's tiny spikes immediately poke through your skin and release toxins. The pain is immediate and intense, and it doesn't let up either. First, your hand will swell, then comes the fever, a single touch is enough to bring symptoms of shock, with people throwing up their lunch and going deathly pale. These caterpillars live in southern states and can be found in all different kinds of trees, living in parks and wooded areas. But now, there seems to be an outbreak of these dangerous creatures. In fact, there are so many that chemical insecticides could be deployed to protect people. Some have even been sent to the emergency room, like Crystal Gaston from Richmond. She recently encountered a post caterpillar and described what it felt like. She just barely touched it. It was like a scorching hot knife stabbing her in the calf. 
Crystal recovered in the end, but it took her a full three days. Have you ever had a bad reaction to a venomous creature? Tell us about it in the comments below. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe. The Blue Ringed Octopus On March 16, 2023, a woman in Australia was swimming off the coast of Mosman in New South Wales when she came across a gorgeous little seashell. She picked up the shell to admire it, but it was a bad move. As she rolled the shell in her hand, a tiny creature fell out of it. The animal then landed on her stomach and bit her twice. The woman only saw it for a second, but it was long enough to make her heart stop. The creature hiding in the shell was a blue-ringed octopus. And for those who haven't heard of it before, the tiny octopus is considered to be one of the most venomous animals in the world. It looks innocent enough, but the tiny octopus can kill you insanely fast. The woman in Australia said she was bitten, but that wasn't really what happened. The octopus stuck her with its beak, which was sharp as a needle, and then squirted toxin into her bloodstream. Not just any toxin either, it was one called tetrodotoxin. It's one of the worst substances known to humans, worse than anything you might encounter on land. And yet the blue-ringed octopus makes it so effortlessly in its salivary glands. The tetrodotoxin causes blindness, loss of motor skills, and muscle paralysis. The cause of death for the victim is usually the muscle paralysis, which prevents the victim from breathing. It was extremely lucky that the swimmer understood what happened and immediately went back to shore to call paramedics. She made a narrow recovery and hopefully she learned her lesson about messing with random shells. The Deadly Viper A doctor in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina saved a man in 2022 from the most venomous snake bite he'd ever seen a person survive. A man from Wilmington was bitten by a Gaboon Viper, the most dangerous snake that ever lived. Dr. Jarrett Lark has extensive knowledge of treating venomous bites. He's been working for years helping people in the Carolinas recover from snake bites. But this incident was different because it wasn't a local snake. The Gaboon Viper comes from Africa and was likely being kept as a pet. The man from Wilmington misplaced his hand and received a dose of venom through the beast's fangs. Dr. Lark and an entire medical team had to work together to save this guy. It took a total of 44 doses of anti-venom, which was more than Dr. Lark had ever seen a person receive. It was a process that took a whole month, with dose after dose of anti-venom being delivered to the victim in order to keep the guy alive. It's now being called a one-of-a-kind medical case and one of the worst venomous bites that a person has ever survived. The Box Jellyfish Snakes in Australia are usually venomous, and so too are the country spiders. But it doesn't end there. Basically everything in Australia could kill someone, from its octopuses to its jellyfish, which are the most dangerous of all. A five-year-old boy just had a scrape with death while swimming near Darwin in the Northern Territory. He was splashing around in the water when a box jellyfish swam by him. The jellyfish dragged its tentacles across his legs and stomach, and it was enough to almost end the poor kid. The box jellyfish got its name because of its cube-shaped body, but they should really call it the fatal jellyfish. It has tentacles that grow up to 10 feet long, and each one is studded with poisonous darts known as nematocysts. When the jellyfish drags its tentacles across your skin, you're injected with venom through the creature's poison darts. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration considers the Australian box jellyfish to be the most venomous marine animal in the world. Within minutes, the venom from its darts causes cardiac arrest and paralysis, and eventually, this leads to death. In the recent case of this five-year-old boy, he's lucky to be alive. Somehow, a quick vinegar treatment and a journey to the Royal Darwin Hospital saved his life before the venom shut down his heart. The Assassin Bug Scientists say that the assassin bug is the fifth most dangerous animal on the planet. The tiny insect, which most people don't even know exists, causes 10,000 deaths per year. In comparison, scorpions only kill 3,300 people annually. The most frightening part is that there are roughly 7,000 species of assassin bugs. New York State is home to the North American wheel bug, 
which is part of the assassin bug family. It's a nasty little creature that causes intense pain, but isn't entirely deadly to humans. So, which assassin bugs are the ones you need to look out for? It's the kissing bug that will kill you, according to the CDC, which states that the assassin bug gives the kiss of death. It transmits something called Chagas disease, which often proves to be fatal. The venom from the assassin bug isn't what kills you, it's the disease that they transfer. But its venom does kill its insect victims. Scientists recently discovered that the assassin bug creates two different venoms. The first venom is used to kill insect prey. The venom works as a paralysis and liquefier. The victim is rendered unable to move. Then its insides liquefy from the venom. This, in turn, enables the assassin bug to suck up the liquid using its long, straw-like nose. Scientists also found that it makes a separate toxin for defense. It has a complex system inside its body that's made up of compartments and ducts, as well as pumps and valves. This allows the assassin bug to squirt toxins at rats, birds, or spiders when it's threatened. It's a fascinating system that makes the assassin bug one of the most uniquely venomous creatures in the world. Thanks for watching. Which of these venomous creatures are you the most afraid of? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye!